When you think about what everyone talks about today, big data and analytics, I do think it's right to use both terms in the same sentence. This is because the rise of computing power and the relative affordability of storing data, but also the ability to gather data from sources that maybe weren't available before, creates this big data phenomena. At the same time, what I see happening in marketing is what happened in the 80s and 90s on Wall Street, where you saw a lot of folks with, for example, PhDs in physics or statistics apply increasingly mathematical-oriented models to, at that in that case, finance. In this instance, we're applying it to marketing. What enables us to do that is big data, because at Nationwide, the way we think about it is, given sufficiently large data sets, uh, statistically and mathematically oriented folks can apply techniques to that data to sort the essential from the irrelevant and apply predictive statistics to hundreds of millions of dollars of marketing spend to drive better responses, requests for quote, unaided brand awareness improvement, and so forth. For those who don't know the property and casualty insurance industry in the United States, uh, for personal lines, think auto and home and umbrella insurance and these kinds of things. It is characterized first and foremost by an arms race of promotional spend. From 2009 to 2012, promotional spend in this category went up 62%. We went up 0%. The next question you would ask is, what about demand generation? Because that's what that, those dollars were spent for. We increased demand generation across all channels, which is clicks on the internet, calls into our call center, and quotes from our exclusive agents by 15%. So we have achieved over a 15, approaching 20% per annum increase in productivity in marketing for four years running from the start of our work in 2009. By the way, this also was achieved with 11% fewer headcount and four and a half, five million dollars less of market research and data costs. 